Well, uh, Rudy Chan finally admitted that MetaZoo is dead. Good for Rudy Chan. He uh, showed his heavy bags, if you will. And uh, let's uh, let's be like let's be one hundred percent honest with you guys. Um, he didn't lose one million dollars. He's made m way more money on just his promos. And you know, like, how do you know that? You could just go into a marketplace and see how many promos each MetaZoo Nightfall promo and play mat uh, means that somebody paid at least eight hundred and twenty dollars for that product, a product that probably cost him twenty dollars, right? Um, obviously, he at one time was very close with the Mike Waddell character who <laughs> effed everyone on his way out. Uh, and, you know, th this type of stuff, he, he built pyramids on it. You know, I'm not seeing very much Nightfall. Nightfall was the $8,200. He has a video of a giant pyramid, which is taller than he is, uh, on his YouTube channel. I don't see no Nightfall boxes, Rudy. Where did it all go? And the answer was to Patreon. So if he had 10,000 Nightfall boxes and at a minimal selling it for $8,820, that's $8.2 million plus. Um, after uh, costs, which is almost nothing because literally they have little children drawing on this. Um, you know, I mean, his Patreons, if, if he lost a million dollars, what do you think his patrons lost, right? Because let, let's ex let's actually do some simple math in our heads. If his promo cards, I mean, again, he actually drew his own promo cards, right? And I've always been very skeptical. There's supposedly this Chinese factory just sitting on war product. I, who knows if that's true or not, right? Copium. But why didn't someone just contact that Chinese factory? Like, it cannot be that much of a secret, right? And they can reprint you red ink and kickstarter i mean they're the they're their factory that printed all this right i wouldn't have them print me booster boxes i would just print me hello kitty like the most exp expensive cards i mean it's a uh, million dollars you can just buy out the factory right you can just to put the factory to work to print you out all these cards so uh this supposedly is the last time he'll talk about it i doubt it i mean he's still got to sell this inventory right where's it going to go patreons um, this is like pretty, pretty, um, the sad part is like if, if his, let's take up, let's just do some really bad math. If a Nightfall first edition kit for one booster box is $820 and the cost of that booster box, let's call it $40. So there's a 20 X profit margin. Well, I would assume that his if he's down a million dollars, and if this is relationship is that all, all correlated, which it might not be, his uh, patrons might be down twenty million, right? Because they're not buying. He's buying them from the guy on the right, Mike Waddell, for almost nothing, and selling it you to you for eight hundred and twenty dollars a box, a single box, right? That's wild. Um. So if you lost a million dollars, um, imagine, and, and you know, these, these meta zoo people, they're, they're very quiet. They're very quiet now. It's, it's silence from them. And Argos Anonymous is nowhere to be found. He was a, uh, ask, catch him, dude. Uh, he's uh, where are these people, <laughs> you know? And it, it's, it, it's like a, a great war, right? On one side, you had the MetaZoo haters, myself included, right? And on the other side, you had the MetaZoo lovers. Lovers are cryptid, right? Obviously, we won. Your general has admitted defeat. He's not going to make a video. He's admitted him. But holy shit, do people got burned, man. And I'm, I'm doing this pay money wubby thing right now. And like his wife is still listed as the art director of, of MetaZoo. This thing was all types of just influencers being part. Like it, when you dig a little bit deeper than Alpha Investments, which I honestly haven't done for like half of a year, you find out that this Meta Zoo thing was a lot darker and a lot more. You know, I I get it, man. Like if your if your wife is like you know the art director of Meta Zoo, you can't really say no shit about it. You're probably gonna get your own pay, promo, right? 
I get it when Mike Waddell is your friend and he's dropping off $10,000, $100,000 of MetaZoo gifts, right? Kickstarter and promo packs and 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 he's all this really cool stuff he's giving you. I get it. You're a big whatnot streamer. There was like a Blake guy, like whatnot streamer. Like he's going to give you apparently half of the Meta, the Mothman original promos, right? For helping at uh, New York Comic Con. Dude. This is not how a business is run, guys. It's not run this way. It's run based on merit. And this is, I think, why a lot of these companies are failing. It's based on merit, competence, hard work. Not based on who you're effing. Andy, I know you're out there, buddy. That one's for you, buddy. And also, you know, obviously pay money while be as well. Uh, but, but there's so many, like, influencers. There's so many artists. I mean, it's just... This is not how to run a business, guys.